a couple of weeks ago I made a video on how to book the cheapest flights and I thought in addition to that I should make a video on how to book accommodation. Now this video will definitely not be about booking the cheapest accommodation because I don't believe those are always the best value for money but I will give you my uh, tips and advice on how I book accommodation. I'm by no means an expert, this is just how I do it and I hope it's really helpful for you the next time you want to book an accommodation. So a question that I really get a lot is if I book accommodation ahead of time or if I arrive in a new place and then start shopping around for the cheapest price. I can be really short about that answer, I always book ahead of time. There are a couple of reasons for this. One, my safety, because I'm a solo female traveler, I don't want to arrive in a place and then start looking around for uh, an accommodation and don't know if it's safe. You know, the internet has made things very transparent and that's actually the second reason. I believe it has made the prices very transparent, meaning that you won't in my opinion, won't save that much money arriving in a place and negotiating about a price. The internet prices are quite good already. But also the reviews for me are very, very valuable in terms of safety. I will uh, talk about that a little more in depth a little bit later. Another reason why I always book ahead, uh, and it also has to do with the reviews, is because I encountered bed bugs in Gili Air, Indonesia, and it was such a horrible and traumatizing experience. I don't ever want to go through that again. And I, I will gladly pay double the price for an accommodation in order to avoid bed bugs. Because bed bugs, bed bugs <laughs> also cost me a lot of money to get rid of. So it was not saving money at all. I read this advice somewhere on the internet. I can't remember where, but it always helped me. And it said like, even if one review of an accommodation mentions bed bugs, you should stay away from it because it's really hard to get rid of bed bugs. And now let me tell you one thing, bed bugs are by no means an indication of hygiene. Even five star hotels can have bed bugs, but once they have it, it's really hard to get rid of it. So if only one review says the accommodation that I'm looking at has bed bugs, I will not stay there. So let me first start off with the sites that I use to book my accommodation. And there are three sites I use very regularly. They are my favorites because they're, I don't know, they're, um, they're, they just have the easiest systems to, you know, uh, click on the budget that you have, you know, the city, the dates, and it, they're just very, they just give me the easiest overview and they have the easiest booking system. So I will start with booking.com and then move over to agoda.com. Agoda is a little bit like the Asian version of booking.com and usually also cheaper in Asia than booking. And then if I'm looking at a hostel, if, if I want to stay in a hostel, I will look at Hostel World. So these are my three favorite sites. I've tried others, but I just don't like their systems. And these three are, are very easy to use and also have the best prices, in my opinion. So I will compare them with each other and then, of course, pick the best price, best value for money. The second thing I will be looking at when I... Uh, well, for instance, when I compare the prices and then I'm looking at an accommodation that I want to stay at, I will do my research on the reviews. And seriously, I will read 50 of them because there are a couple of things that are really important for me. So one, of course, is safety. Two are the bed bugs. And three, uh, the location. No, no, no. The location is on number one. But usually, like the top comments will already mention if it's in a good location or not. I don't need to be looking at any maps because if 10 people say it's a good location, I trust them. Uh, if there is one mention of bed bugs, of course, I will stay away. The safety is also very important. It's also usually mentioned in the reviews. And another thing that is really important for me personally, I don't know if that's important for you, but for me, decent Wi-Fi is also important. So whenever I'm looking at an accommodation, I need at least one review to tell me that it's decent internet. I don't need good internet or Wi-Fi. I need decent internet or Wi-Fi to upload travel vlogs for you guys. Otherwise, I don't wanna stay there. So now you know I always book ahead that my favorite websites where I book my accommodations and also that the reviews are my primary source if the accommodation is value for money. 
the next thing I will do, and this is like the final check before I book, is I will always check the accommodation on TripAdvisor because uh, in my experience, the reviews on TripAdvisor are, you know, they give a, a little bit better representation of the accommodation than on the websites where you book the accommodations. I don't know if that's going to change because TripAdvisor now also has a system where you can, um, you know, directly book the accommodations. I really hope not because TripAdvisor has saved my ass from bed bugs also warn me against bad Wi-Fi. If any of the comments mentioned that it was good Wi-Fi, TripAdvisor would have more reviews saying it was bad Wi-Fi or safety or stuff like that. So that was, I always double check an accommodation that I want to book on TripAdvisor because it just gives me the most transparent information. One final thing that I do in order to save money by negotiating because I do book ahead is I will usually book only one or two nights in accommodation and if I get there and I feel like I want to stay longer I will negotiate for the rest of the time that I'm going to stay there. So that has saved me money even though I book ahead. I really hope this video was helpful for the next time that you want to book a value for money accommodation. Please do mention I did not say the cheapest accommodation because I don't believe they are always the best value for money. I will gladly play, 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 pay a little bit more money for an accommodation that offers you more value for money. Maybe that's a tip as well, especially in Thailand and Indonesia. Pay a little bit more money. You get a lot of value for money there. If this video was helpful, please put a thumbs up. And if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, please click that subscribe button because I make travel vlogs and all kinds of travel related videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.